Welcome to our video guide on how to build a system with Anchor Solix F3000. Before we begin, please pause the video and review these warnings carefully. Take a moment to review what you need to build the system. Now, let's review the system. Please pause the screen and review the following notes before continuing. Now, let's review some common errors when installing current transformers. Please pause the screen to review. Before continuing, it is important to make sure electrical equipment is installed correctly, including current transformers. Now, let's show you how to install Anchor Solix Smart Meter. Here's what you'll need for the installation. First, remove the panel cover and turn off all circuit breakers. Next, locate a pair of branch breakers. Install the L1 and L2 cables there and the neutral cable to a neutral bar. Loosen the screws and connect the L1 L2 and neutral cables to smart meter. Remove the cap on the right side of smart meter to install the antenna. Turn on the breakers in the electrical panel. Finally, Log onto the Anchor app to pair your smart meter with a strong 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi signal. Let's show you how to install bi-directional inlet box. There are two installation methods. Let's discuss the first method, which involves replacing the outlet. Here's what you'll need for this installation method. For this installation method, remove an appropriate outlet to install bi-directional inlet box. Move F3000 near the outlet. Turn on F3000. Log on to the Anchor app and pair F3000 with a strong 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi signal. If the signal isn't strong, try another outlet closer to your router. Plug in the transmitter and the indicator will illuminate red. Take out the receiver and remove the cover. Connect the battery to the terminals and install it into the compartment. Turn on the receiver, listen for a beep, and wait for the indicator to turn red. Use the receiver to find the breaker connected to the outlet. The indicator will turn green when located. Once confirmed, remove the outlet. Next, we need to take apart the inlet box. Please take a look at these components before continuing. Then, watch the video carefully to take apart. When finished, connect the live, neutral, and ground cables to the electrical outlet. Install the electrical outlet in place of the original outlet. Attach the front cover. Tighten the screws to secure the front cover and electrical outlet. Install the self-locking plug and tighten the screws. Attach the L1 current transformer to the L1 cable, then attach the L2 current transformer to the L2 cable. Make sure that the arrows on both current transformers face the grid. If you have one F3000, attach the B1 current transformer onto the branch breaker. If you have two F3000s, attach both the B1 and B2 current transformers 
make sure the arrows on both current transformers face the breaker. Connect the current transformers to the current transformer port on the smart meter. If you have purchased two inlet boxes, repeat the prior steps to install the second one. Now let's move on to the second option, which involves installing a new breaker inside the panel. Here's what you'll need for this installation method. Find an appropriate location to install bi-directional inlet box. Move F3000 near the location where you plan to install the inlet box. Turn on F3000. Log on to the Anchor app, add F3000, and select Build Power Station. Pair F3000 with a 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi signal. If the signal isn't strong, try another location closer to your router. Next, we need to take apart the inlet box. Please take a look at these components before continuing and watch the video carefully to take apart. Remove a knockout from the top or side of the rear cover. Tighten the screws to secure the rear cover. Next, connect the live cable to a new breaker, then connect the neutral and ground cables to the neutral bars. Pass the live, neutral, and ground cables through the knockout in the electrical panel. Guide the live, neutral, and ground cables from the electrical panel through the conduits and cable gland. Connect the live, neutral, and ground cables to the electrical outlet. Attach the front cover. Tighten the screws to secure the front cover and the electrical outlet. Finally, Install the self-locking plug and tighten the screws. Attach the L1 current transformer to the L1 cable, then attach the L2 current transformer to the L2 cable. Make sure that the arrows on both current transformers face the grid. If you have one F3000, attach the B1 current transformer onto the branch breaker. If you have two F3000s, attach both the B1 and B2 current transformers. Make sure the arrows on both current transformers face the breaker. Connect the current transformers to the current transformer port on the smart meter. If you have purchased two inlet boxes, repeat the prior steps to install the second one. Now let's show you how to complete the installation. Connect the inlet box to F3000's AC input-output port. Turn on F3000. Open the breaker box to turn on the breaker. Turn on the main breaker and branch breakers inside the electrical panel. Once the inlet box is installed and F3000 is connected, total input output is limited to 15 amps and a maximum of 1800 watts for your safety. Finally, let's take a look at how to finish setting up the system with the Anchor app. First, download the latest version. Scan this QR code to find the Anchor app on the App Store or Google Play. Add F3000 and select Build Power Station. Pair F3000 with a 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi signal. Add a home device and select Smart Meter. Update the firmware for both devices. Follow instructions in the Anchor app to initiate a self-test. Set the recharging power. Next, customize your electricity to finish building your home system. Set usage and reserve power values. Make sure reserved outage power is at least 5%. Now, select either self-consumption or time-of-use mode. Self-consumption mode uses solar power first 
to supply loads and charge the battery. Time of Use Mode charges F3000 when prices are low and uses stored energy when prices are high. Select and adjust months or seasons for Time of Use Mode. Or set values for weekdays and weekends. There are four types of values in Time of Use Mode. Peak, Mid-Peak, Off-Peak, and Super Off-Peak. During peak and mid-peak periods, the battery discharges to power your home, helping you avoid high electricity costs. During off-peak periods, the battery discharges up to 20% to power your home, saving the rest for high price periods. During super off-peak periods, prices are at their lowest. The battery will only charge. This is where you set an electricity rate. Tap this icon to customize settings on the settings page. Here are a couple more modes you should know. Storm Guard helps you when storms or outages are forecasted. The system sends you a notification and prioritizes charging the battery. Enable manual backup mode to store emergency power and prepare for potential outages. Set the start and end times here. Thanks for watching. You should now have a clear understanding of how to integrate F3000 into your home system, optimize energy usage, and handle various scenarios with its features.